To help families who lost loved ones to violent crimes or victims of violent crimes, the San Diego District Attorney's Office has prioritized cold cases. In fact, our DA's office is one of 10 in the nation to receive a grant to solve more cold case homicides. Here now to talk about it is our District Attorney, Summer Stephan, DA. Good to talk with you tonight. Good to be with you, Ginger. Okay, so this was one of the highlights from your midterm report, solving cold cases. Why did your office hone in on that? Because the, the pain that families suffer from losing loved ones, it never goes away, but that pain is even more intense if you don't even know who killed your loved one and there's no justice that you can close that chapter and continue to, to try to heal. So this is something that I faced talking to the community, going to a lot of the victim survivor groups and hearing their stories. So we decided to put a priority on it to leverage the latest and greatest in uh, DNA and CSI evidence and to pair it with amazing Top Gun prosecutors and investigators to solve some of these unsolved cold homicides and rape cases. Yeah, because I would imagine some of these folks feel forgotten about, and yet you're saying, no, we're not forgetting about you. In fact, you are one of 10 offices in the nation to get the, a grant to help you fund this uh, pursuit of justice. Tell me about the grant. It's very exciting. It's a, it's a National Department of Justice grant that was only passed out to 10 offices and we got almost a half a million dollars, $470,000 because in the grant application, we were able to show that we didn't just say this is a priority, but we had put resources and had been successful in getting the job done and working with law enforcement to solve and convict killers from old cases. Um, and so it allowed us to be in a good position to get this really elite grant. And this is gonna allow us to expand our efforts by having a genealogy expert consult with us and also have another homicide investigator added to the unit. And you brought up the advances in technology. How does some of these uh, you know, advancements coupled with genealogy websites really help you potentially bring in a killer? It makes a huge difference that genealogy advances um, because before what we relied on is that the DNA that we collect from a crime scene has to hit or match in the CODIS national and state data bank. That means that an individual who committed the murder or rape has to have been entered into that CODIS data bank. And so when you have somebody that is a very uh, a smart, um, basically killer, like the Golden State Killer, that's where it all started, you can avoid detection because you can put all the DNA you collected from crime scenes into the CODIS data bank and you'll never hit on anyone. So the genealogy allows you to enter that DNA in um, the different uh, genetic websites like Ancestry, 23andMe, and while you may not hit on the actual killer, you may hit on a distant or close relative. And from that, that allows you to begin to have a place. It's like a needle in a haystack, but it gives you a place to begin your investigation, that this person is connected to this family tree. And there the journey begins. And it's been very exciting to use this technology after the Golden State Killer to solve uh, multiple, we've had uh, seven genealogy cases solved using this technology. That is very exciting. Before we let you go, I've done stories with your cold case unit. I mean, they are some of the best of the best in the world. Uh, give our viewers an overview of how many investigators you have working in your just your cold case unit. Well, uh, you know, we, we have three investigators working in that unit and uh, multiple prosecutors, uh, about six prosecutors. But you have to understand, we take one investigator like Tony Johnson, and he brings 
his multiple years of homicide experience, and he's a multiplier effect. I mean, um, every time I talk to victims' families, they tell me about Tony, his persistence, how they believed him when he tells them, you're a priority to us, we're going to get the job done, and he moves forward to do it. And really, uh, thanks to that, you can you can use three investigators, but have a multiplier effect as you work with all of your law enforcement that's also dedicated to solving these cold cases. Well, DA Stefan, I think you are a multiplier effect for victims everywhere and getting justice for their families. I really appreciate your time tonight. Thank you. All right, thank you. Logan. 